I have a lot of pets at home, so there is a lot of cat hair, dog hair, residue um. on me. So I just have to keep lint rolling. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Winnie. A lot of my content is focused on helping people curate their lifestyles. And today's video, I am going to talk about what is in my travel bag after three years. I have finally traveled to Singapore. We are here in Singapore. This is our room and it is very nice. And I think the most important for, thing for me for hotel is the bathroom. So the bathroom's good, I'm good. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for those of you who are not subscribed. It really helps a lot. So let's get started. This is the bag that I traveled with yesterday. With a travel bag, it is really important to make sure that you bring anything necessary on the flight. Usually I prefer going with a large tote bag because it can fit a lot. This one is really great because of how much it can fit. So you can see from the side that it's pretty packed with stuff. And then I usually put it on top of my suitcase and then just drag it. That's what makes it really nice and easy to use. This is from Chanel and it comes with these handles. I sometimes use these handles, but I usually like just holding it from here. So the first thing from my bag, I'll get the biggest thing out, is actually my all-in-one bag. Yes, it fits our all-in-one bag. This is all my jewelry. This is my jewelry pouch. Now, the reason why I'm bringing my jewelry is because I want to make sure that I get content. Now, with jewelry, it is a little bit, I guess, more delicate, and also you don't want it to get lost. So I actually brought it with me just to make sure that, because this is delicate and fragile and it can get tangled easily so that's what I did so this is our all-in-one bag this is version number one and I really love it it has my initials I have a little bite mark from my cats can't have nice things so in here is a it's a two-tiered bag and both layers are full of jewelry so I'm going to show you um, in our all-in-one bag we have detachables and the detachables that I'm specifically using are is this jewelry detachable. So here I have my necklaces on one side and then I have my rings on top, earrings, I'm wearing some, and then bracelets, etc. Mostly like small trinkets are in here. Then I just attach it to that magnetic detachable and it hangs on quite well. Then in here I put probably more delicate jewelry. The jewelry I'm wearing right now is from Penny Pears. Now I really like it because it is small and it's quite affordable and it complements the other jewelry that I have. So the next tier is full of my earrings and sunglasses and bracelets. So with the second tier of the bag comes these dividers and here I have my large earrings. So these ones you can't really fit into that detachable because it's gonna break. And here also I have really large earrings. Then I also have my glasses here. And then bracelets. So it really fits well. And that's what's in my jewelry bag. If you are curious what I bring, how much jewelry I bring to a trip. This is an eight day trip, which means that I'm gonna try to film as much content as possible. So having options is great. This is not for everybody because not everybody will need to bring that many options. But for me, because I am going for a specific content trip, that is what I need to bring. And next, this is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is super important. I purchased this on Lazada and it is really nice because I can just spray it and you can actually attach it onto your bag, but I don't want to ruin the leather. So I just put it into the slot, which is great. I'll explain to you how this bag is organized but this is my hand sanitizer, very simple. Then over here, I have a clean canteen water bottle. I bring a water bottle. I know that airports don't allow water bottles, but sometimes I might fill a little bit so I can drink it. Okay, so that's my water bottle. So far, everything is black. Then I brought my laptop even though I didn't feel like doing it. I was thinking I was gonna work, but I didn't. So procrastination nation. So this is my work laptop and actually you should bring it with you. You don't want to put it anywhere else because it might break. 
So it is a very fragile item. This is quite heavy. The reason why I bring a laptop is because I don't wanna put in my carry-on, etc. I checked in all my luggages, so that's why. Next is my AirPods. This cover is from Lazada. I found really cute AirPod covers and this one is Milky. Milky is my dog because of this character right here. There, that's my AirPods. Then I have my glasses. This is from Moscot, but these are my reading glasses, glasses that I use to view things. And this is the bag that it came with. So it's pretty good because it's structured so you can't easily brush it. So I just wear my clear glasses and yeah, that's how I see. Then I also have blue light on these lenses because I am on my cell phone and laptop most of the time. I'm a screen person. And then it comes with wipes. Then next thing in here, I don't reapply makeup, but sometimes when I am on the plane, I find that, and I haven't been on a plane for three years, but I find that my lips get very dry, so I just bring a lip balm. This one is the Lip Glow from Dior, and it's, it gives a nice tinted color. Just apply it, easy, that's it. Next in here is my everyday planner. So this is the Slims in carbon, and it is a planner, and I write things in here, which from, then it comes with a pen. So this one is from Xiaomi. I bring a pen with me. You always need to fill up like declaration forms, immigration forms. So I just use this. And this is our everyday Slims planner, which is a six month undated planner. And it it's very flexible and gives you a lot of space. It creates enough structure for you to plan out your day. Next, I have my phone. So this is an iPhone. I use this to film all my reels. And then I use the editing app InShot to edit my videos. I edit my own real videos. This is my iPhone. I use an iPhone 13 Pro Max. My current cover is a Ramoa cover. I actually just changed it today. But I've been using my Case to Five case for a really long time. And it just got dirty. Yeah. You should always replace your cases maybe every six months because it gets dirty it's nice sleek and easy to clean what's really important is that it doesn't leave like a black residue when you use alcohol to wipe it then in here i have my passport holder this is from louis vuitton and in here i have my world health organization international certificate of vaccination that i applied for and then I have my passport. Then it's able to also hold cards that I use for travel. So now I don't put this in my wallet, I put it in my travel case. Just because like when I don't travel, I don't need it. So it's all just here. It holds my passport and now my quarantine pass certificate. Just to know that I'm vaccinated. And it's light, sleek, really nice. And then in here we have our current wi-fi partner so i bring a pocket wi-fi with me whenever i travel this one is from big sky and all you need to do is just rent it out on their website it's very simple to use i actually really love it because it's so easy to get onto the wi-fi and then you can use it all day then rather than worrying about changing your sim etc all you need to do is switch this on and charge it for six hours and you're good okay what's great about this bag is that it has compartments on the side so you can slide everything you need especially things that you don't want people to access since this is an open tote you just slide it into areas with zippers so in my zipper right now I have my wallet so this one you have seen in my previous videos is my Chanel wallet it holds my cash credit cards coins and then here I hold foreign currency and then I have a lint roller. Now the reason why I had lint roller, the thing that I was wearing yesterday was black. And I, you know, I have a lot of pets at home. So there is a lot of cat hair, dog hair residue um. on me. So I just had to keep lint rolling so people wouldn't think I was just not put together. 
Then I think that's it in here. Then I'm gonna show you um, my tote organizer. This one I purchased from Lazada. I mentioned in one of my reels that I use to protect my bag from dust, etc. I actually use a bag insert. Now these bag inserts also help keep your bag structured. As you can see, this is really soft when I don't have it with a bag organizer. So if you can see the difference, it's like I'm selling the product to you. So here, I've aligned it to the corners and you can see now it doesn't slope. And it's important for me because this bag is particularly soft. So what happens is that if you don't have like maybe a bag insert, it's going to cause it to crease. And I just want more longevity, especially if I'm going to purchase a bag that is more than a thousand dollars. So this is my bag insert. And what's great is that it's, it's very affordable and it keeps your bag clean because like sometimes you might drop coins if you want to bring snacks the snack crumbs will most likely fall into here sometimes you know accidents can happen so i prefer this and what's great is that it's like an organizer in itself so in here there's like a pocket i can put my wallet in here or more things that i don't want people to access such as my passport in this case i actually put my planner in here because there are other spaces. This space was for my water bottle. And so I put it back. There are pockets everywhere. So then I put my glasses in here, my planner in here. Then I put my other more prized possessions in, actually within the bag itself. Because actually inside the bag, there's so many compartments. This one has a pocket. This one has a side pocket. There are two more pockets on the other end of the bag. And then another attachment here. So you can see that's what happens. So that is what is what I put inside my bag. That wraps up what's in my bag. If you guys have any questions, I feel like it's quite simple. Everything is like all packed. All I need to do is just pull it out. It is quite heavy, but I do think that it is a quite simplified version of what I carry. I know a lot more people that carry a lot more things. The only like really crazy thing that I bring is my jewelry bag. And that's because I just want to make sure it doesn't get lost because it is more delicate and pricier. So that's what I carry in my bag. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, do let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. But that is it for my video, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.